Hello, my name is Jeff at MacroMonster.com. I just want to show you this randomization macro that I think is pretty unique and adds some interesting possibilities for doing some uh, design work. So I'm going to uh, select some shapes. I'm just going to start with the uh, a yellow star there, run the macro, and look at some of the options that we have here. So let's say that I want to put some stars around this path on the inside of it there and that I don't want any stars to overlap with any other stars. I know that I'm going to be matching to a shape and that's going to be this inside contour there. Now that contour is broken apart by the way. And let's say I want, let's start with something small like 20 stars. I'm going to do some random rotation and uh, also some size variation. I'm going to change this to hmm, about 70%. So it's just going to be some size variation. Some of them are going to be rotated. And uh, let's see what happens here. I'm going to hit, hit OK. Click on the inside there. And so very quickly it's dropped in 20 stars around there. Now it, you might think, well, there's some missing spots here and there, but that's just the nature of randomization, right? So what's interesting about the macro though is that you can um, do multiple shapes at one time. So if I was to select all three of those little stars, they already have a little bit different color there. And I'm going to keep everything here the same. And hit OK and then click inside here. And so it's dropped in some random stars like that, right? So if you wanted to, you could really crank up the numbers and uh, get a result such as like the next page here where it's just in a quick example where I dropped in, I think it was 200 stars. So uh, that'd be 200 of each of those colors. And then I added a few other little effects. Um, and the other thing here too is it works with bitmaps as well. So if you have little bitmaps, you could do things like this. I'm just going to get this little path out of the way here. That's this one piece. And um, those are the settings that I used for that. 20, this type of thing there. And so what I used was um, some screws and some nuts there and placed them around the edge. And then, as you might imagine, uh, I could put some other design stuff elements on the inside there. I did put a drop shadow on all of them as a group, so it was a quick way to... Um, let me just see if I can break that apart there. It's just one big drop shadow there. If you really wanted to be to dark, do darker, you could just darken it up, offset it more, like that. Depends how dramatic you want it to be, but the main thing there is um, the ability to randomize various shapes all over the place if you want, um, but not necessarily all over the place, but within a constrained path area or a constrained shape area, right? So hopefully uh, you might find that useful. Check the product or the uh, video description for a link to that item if this is of interest to you. Thank you.